in previous class we have studied the classification of antihypertensive drugs we have divided antihypertensive drugs in six major classes in this class we will study about first two classes first class is renin angiotensin system inhibitor or ac inhibitor drug in this class is captopril and second class is angiotensin 2 receptor blocker and drug in this class is losartan we are studying first two classes at same time because both of these classes belong to each other with respect to their mechanism action so we are studying them at a time renin angiotensin aldosterone system inhibitors renin angiotensin aldosterone uh, system or ras inhibitor are group of drug that act by inhibiting the renin angiotensin aldosterone system including angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors angiotensin receptor blockers and direct renin inhibitors in our syllabus angiotensin converting enzyme and angiotensin receptor blockers are given we will not study the drugs related to this class but we will study how they act ac inhibitor and angiotensin receptor blocker are commonly used for the treatment of patient having hypertension heart failure with reduced injection fraction certain type of kidney disease particularly a chronic kidney disease and patient who have suffered with myocardial infarcation now come to side effects side effects of ac inhibitor and angiotensin receptor blockers if a patient is taking ac inhibitor and then increase in bradykinin concentration is observed and which produces dry cough it is treated by discontinuing ac inhibitor and considering switching to angiotensin receptor blocker that means alternate treatment switching ac inhibitor to angiotensin receptor blocker drugs angioedema it is just like a swelling of a face uh, which is observed from external appearance technically it is swelling of lower layer of skin and tissues hyperkalemia it is elevated level of potassium ions in blood side effects of angiotensin receptor blockers are same just like angioedema and hyperkalemia as given here in ac inhibitor before studying uh, further um, we should aware about how renin angiotensin aldosterone system works with the drop in blood pressure reduce renal perfusion if pressure in renal arteries fall more than 10 to 15 mm of mercury then hypotension and hypovolemia occur which activate just a glomerular cells hyponatremia activates macular densa and increase systemic tone via beta 1 receptor also trigger release of renin this renin convert angiotensinogen into angiotensin 1 this angiotensin 1 get converted into angiotensin 2 with the help of ace enzyme angiotensin converting enzyme this angiotensin 2 increase the blood pressure in two ways via vasoconstriction and via stimulation of release of aldosterone which increase the retention of water and sodium that lead to elevation in blood pressure to higher range this angiotensin is more potent compared to angiotensin 1 and angiotensin 2 uh, stimulate the release of aldosterone which act on digital tubule and collecting ducts which lead to increase in sodium ion secretion in urine and as a result decrease in sodium ion concentration in serum on same time it increases sodium ion reabsorption and water retention as a result elevated blood pressure is absorbed 
on the other side angiotensin 2 produces direct effect via these three systems via proximal tubules it produces same effect as uh, through aldosterone system it produces uh, direct effect uh, via release in adh hormone and increase sodium ion appetite and we feel thrust on third side it act on angiotensin 2 receptor and produces atrioular constriction which lead to increased extracellular fluid volume and increased blood pressure is observed now if blood pressure is increased then how we can control we can control this elevated blood pressure by inhibiting ac enzyme by using ac inhibitor the drug is captopril it inhibits the conversion of angiotensin 1 into 2 by inhibiting this enzyme and this chain is broken over here and increase in blood pressure is not observed angiotensin receptor blocker drugs block angiotensin 2 receptors and that lead to inhibition of this chain third class of uh, drug which is not given in syllabus uh, the drug which act on renin these drugs inhibit the release of uh, renin and uh, if renin is not produced then angiotensinogen uh, does not convert it into angiotensin 1 and elevation in blood pressure is not observed one more thing we must uh, have to remember is that this ras system work on feedback mechanism here we can see over here uh, red lines red lines are indicating that angiotensin 2 aldosterone and elevated blood pressure inhibit the release of renin in normal situation when this system ras system is uh, not under control then elevation in blood pressure or hypertension is observed Now come to drugs. AC inhibitor drugs. The drug is captopril. It is used in the treatment of hypertension and some type of congenital heart failures. Synthesis of captopril. Synthesis of captopril is started by using methacrylic acid. It reacts with HCl, gives rise to 3 chloro 2 methyl propionic acid. It further produces 3 chloro 2 methyl propionyl chloride by eliminating one water molecule. This compound reacts with proline and gives rise to this compound, and minus HCl is eliminated from this position. This compound is further reacted with ammonium thiol, gives rise to captopril drug. Minus ammonium chloride is eliminated. Ammonium come from this position and Cl come from this position. Next drug is angiotensin 2 receptor blocker. Drug in this class is losartan. Losartan is a imidazole derivative. It is used for high blood pressure, diabetic kidney disease, heart failure and left ventricular enlargement.